What's up, YouTube? This is Chris with Murphy Farms Training. Look what we got. Marlin. Long live the lever gun. I've been trying to get my hands on this for a while. And uh, finally got my hands on one today. And we're going to open it up. So I'm going to flip the box over because this is the back. I wanted you to see the long live the lever gun. And uh, we're going to flip it over and get it open. Alright, so here is the top of the box. And we're going to get a hold of this thing, and we're going to get it popped open. It's got like four tabs here. Get that to open up. And we've got black styrofoam. And we'll flip that over. And now we see we've got the model 1895. Model 1895 comes with the offset hammer spur and the tool for that. We're going to put that on it today. Comes with a cable lock like pretty much every gun comes with. And it's all wrapped up in a bag. And I'm going to get it out of the bag and show you what we got. So here she is, folks. The Marlin 1895. We've got the Marlin tag on the lever. It says, long live the lever gun. And it comes with a chamber flag. It's got the chamber flag in it. Because Ruger test fires all their guns. And so I think they require that. If you get a Ruger gun, it's going to have the test flag in it. This is a Ruger made Marlin. Marlin 1895 guide gun. Um, you got, uh, if I remember the specs correctly, I think 18, 18 and a half inch barrel, six shot, six shot tube. I want to go over a few features of the gun. I'm going to start at the muzzle and work my way back. So I'm going to start with this guy here first. Number one, you got your muzzle cap here. Okay, you got your muzzle cap here. This is threaded. If you look real close, you'll see the flat for the wrench. And there's another flat on the opposite side. It's threaded muzzle. Muzzle cap is on there. Uh, well, about hand tight. I can actually move that with my hands. It's got a rubber washer to keep it from coming off. High-vis front sight. High-vis front sight. Really cool front sight. Again, you got your, your magazine tube. It's kind of a satin finish here. You go down, you got your laminate stock, this gray laminate stock. You got your rail here on top you, for mounting an optic. You could put a red dot, you could put a scope, whatever you want to put. Okay, uh, your rear sight is a peep sight. I'm going to show you guys that in just a second from a, a sighted perspective. Um, fluted bolt, really cool. So you got your fluted bolt there. Um, other than just being beautiful, I don't really know the purpose of that. I think it's supposed to be able to hold a little bit of oil. I think some grit can kind of get in those grooves and keep the gun from from getting hard to cycle but but in general i think it's just a pretty effect more than anything go ahead and close that up you got your loading gate um this is a little easier to press than the current marlin that i own that was made by remington um so anyway it is a big loop lever all stainless and then laminate stock with a very nice very squishy very squishy butt pad that looks like it will soak up the recoil very good checkering if you want to see some close-ups of the checkering there. Really nice. Beautiful fit and finish here. There's a little raised edge here, but nothing too awful bad. Again, I'll get some close-ups for you. Um, good fit and finish. Nice slender fore, fore end here on this. Really fits the hand well, at least my hand. I've averaged to small hands, so um, I like the way it fits. It may be too small for some folks. Comes with a sling swivel stud front and rear okay so beautiful beautiful gun and uh, what i'm going to do uh, it does come with the safety engaged so i'm going to take the safety off and uh can get the trigger pull gauge in just a second but i'm going to bring this in for you and let you see the uh, rear sight there so that rear sight is a peep sight so it's a peep sight and or an aperture style sight and so you're going to put this and you're going to put that green high-vis front sight right in the middle of that circle. And if I was hunting something that, that could eat me, like brown bear, um, in thick brush, or if I was hunting you know, somewhere where it was a, a, a fairly short shot and I needed to be quick with it, um, that sight would be great because uh, in just uh, playing with, with this um, before I made the video, um, I did I did notice that it really points well. It aims well. It's really quick to find that front sight and that aperture. But it is a fairly large circle, and so I don't know how accurate that would be for um, something like white-tailed deer if it got out any, any real distance on it. But uh, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty gun. And uh, you can see on the barrel there, 
Um, if I can get the camera to focus for me. Come on, camera, focus for me. It says model 1895-4570 government. And uh, it's stamped here with a little, a little logo. A little logo there stamped on. And that little logo that's stamped on is telling you that it's made by Sturm Ruger. Okay, so that's their little their little mark telling you this is a Ruger made Marlin. Uh, beautiful gun. Uh, cycles real well. Um, real smooth action uh, for a new lever action. It's a really smooth action. It's not, you know, like something that's been tuned by a gunsmith, but nothing to cry over. It cycles pretty easily. Pretty good trigger pull. I'm going to go get my trigger pull gauge. We're going to do a trigger pull reading on this. All right, guys. So trigger pull. Here we go. We're going to give this a trigger pull and see what we get. Okay. I get four pounds, 5.9 ounces. Let's give it another go. Okay. Give it another go. Five pounds, 2.7 ounces. We'll get one more here. Five pounds, 0.1 ounces. So right about a five pound trigger, I think. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And like I said, the lever with the hammer forward, the lever's a little stiff to get started, but that's most guns. And I think it'll, it'll break in um, it does, it does snap nice and tight shut. I mean, you really have to mean it to get that lever going. Um, and it does have the safety. I want to show you the firing pin. So firing pin you see is depressed in the bolt until I close the lever. And then this pops out activating your firing pin. So if I cock the gun, when I close the bolt, so if I open it, you see that firing pin kind of goes into hiding and then it comes out. And, and there's a safety built in. I'll show you. It's right here. Okay? Right here underneath. When you close that lever that presses that safety, that allows everything to engage for the gun to fire. So if your lever is not fully closed, you can't fire the gun. The trigger trigger's actually blocked. And so when I close that, it'll fire. So anyway, cool gun. Uh, does hold six 4570 rounds. Um, I think there's nothing... In the on the North American continent that this won't take a uh, nice thick heavy barrel Ruger does proof test their guns I do not know if they proof test the Marlins I know up to this point everything Ruger makes is proof tested so um, I assume that they proof test the Marlins I haven't looked into that um, but if they do um, then this then this bad boy has handled some some pretty heavy loads and I think it would shoot quite well um, so once it warms up, we'll do some shooting with this thing, um, trying to decide if I want to put an optic on it or not. Um, but, but we're going to go out and try the peep sights first and see where we go and go from there. But anyway, so the Ruger made Marlin 1895. This is the synthetic stock, big loop, stainless, and it's, uh, excuse me, laminate stock. It's a laminate stock, not synthetic. Uh, beautiful gun, this, this stainless on laminate. Great checkering. Um, it definitely looks like a Marlin, um, but it seems like it was put together like a Ruger. So uh, I hope it's a tank of a gun. That's kind of what I'm looking for, and I'm very, very, very excited. So uh, hopefully you guys will see this at the range in some future videos. We'll do some shooting. And then, like I said, the last thing I wanted to do was go ahead and put this hammer spur, this offset hammer spur on on camera. So here's our offset hammer spur. It says, must be installed before using a scope. Um, and so I'm going to open this up and show you what's in it. And, uh, it's a complete package, I believe. Um, I don't know, but I believe it's a complete package. Let's find out. Uh, nope, that's just a sticker. I don't know why that's, I thought that opened the thing. All right, let's see. All right, so what have we got? We've got our spur and our Allen wrench and our screw. That's what I was looking for was that little screw right there. So don't, don't lose that little screw. And the easiest way, I think, to do this is to put the screw on the Allen wrench. So let's get that on there. Ta-da! I'm going to zoom in. And if I take this rifle, I'm right-handed, so I want the hammer spur to stick off to the right of the gun. 
that's going to let me pull it with my right thumb. So that's going to slide on just like so, okay? Um, and it, it basically won't go past there. So when you slide it on, there's a stop built in. It's made for this hammer spur. So I'm going to slide that all the way down. And then I'm going to take my set screw. And it has a little bit. I'm going to see if I can get the camera to focus. It's got a little bit of some kind of adhesive on it. I'm going to assume that's some kind of like uh, thread locker of some sort. I'm going to just go with what Ruger put on it. We're going to get that in here. There's a little hole and you're going to get it started. And uh, we're just going to tighten this down until it seems like it's it's good to go. So uh, it's pretty pretty snug. Um, a little afraid that it's cross threading because it's real snug, but that may be that that uh, that may be that uh, thread locker. No, that's definitely that thread locker. So whatever that stuff is, it's definitely making this tough to tighten. So I'm going to turn my Allen wrench. I'm going to see if it'll let me turn my Allen wrench this way. Get a little more torque there. And uh, we're going to tighten this bad boy down. And uh, it's still not tight, but we're getting there. We're, we're going we're gonna to run out of Allen wrench, it looks like, before we get snug. All right, so we're, we're starting to get somewhere with this. So... Nope. Let's see. Du -du -du -du. Oh, so I'm looking at it now. I can get this to focus. Just poking out, so we're almost there now. Okay? And you could, if you got a plate weight, there we go. I feel it. There it goes. Snugging up now on that. And you want to get this, and unfortunately, it's deep enough that I can't quite keep the Allen wrench on it. Um, it just slipped out. So I'm going to go back to this way. get it as tight as I can get it and that feels good and that's gonna let me pull that hammer back like so because when you have a scope the optics gonna get in the way you're gonna want that on there I've got that on every lever gun I've ever owned uh, and I enjoy it so I've got that on there and now we're set up what we'll do with this I don't know uh, maybe a red dot maybe a scope maybe leave the peep sight we'll see um, may put on a scope that lets me have see-through rings so I can use the peep sight under the rings. I don't know. I'll figure that part out, but for now I wanted to do this unboxing video, show you how to get that hammer spur on. Uh, it's not real hard, and then um, we'll go from there. So guys, I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about the Marlin 1895 made by Ruger.